Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Phuket in southern Thailand. And today I'm very excited to go to a restaurant that's called Jat Jan, which literally translates in Thai to powerful, strong, intensely flavorful food. And the chef, he is incredibly nice. Another thing that you gotta know about the chef is that he's a former five-star hotel chef and he now cooks street food. You can tell he just puts 100% of his love into the food. We're gonna order a bunch of dishes. We're gonna watch him cook. He's so friendly. He's such a character. I can't wait to share this meal with you in Phuket. ว่าถ้าทํามันแกงต้องใช้เยอะเอาเก่งเก่งเนื้อปลาอร่อยเนื้อปลากระพงขาวเนื้อปลากระพงขาวใช่อร่อยฮะเป็นแกงกะทิเ
Yeah, Yeah, it smells amazing. Okay. Um, with chili, you know, make it spicy. Tom Yum. Tom Yum. Ready. Ready, Tom Yum. Smells incredible. You're so fast. Yeah, make fast. Because I'm only me cooking. Yes. <laughs> only me cook. Even not fast, you know. <laughs> My customer is boring. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Chef is such an awesome personality, so friendly, and he is so fast. A masterful skills, just sloshing things around, scooting things around, uh, deep frying, moving from walk to walk, moving from burner to burner. Awesome skill. Oh, and the squid is ready. The squid, the garlic and pepper. All right. Already. Already. It's delicious, too. Yes, it smells incredible. <laughs> That's the last one. Okay. Try right with crab meat. The last one. This is. Wow. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chef. Welcome, Thank you, Chef. Oh man, his skill is incredible. He just flies on those walks, changing from burner to burner, going from spatula to spoon, sloshing juices and broths and stocks around the last dish. That just is in a heap of smoke. The stir-fried minced pork shrimp and stink beans with shrimp paste. His friendliness and just his like happiness in the kitchen. You could just tell it's his passion cooking uh, and he loves what he does. I'm rushing to the table to eat. Oh man, I can't wait. Even more than the actual food, I have to say that nothing makes me more excited and gives me more energy about food than a chef who is as passionate, as friendly, and as cool as chefs. You can tell he just puts 100% of his love into the food. He's actually opening right now. He's putting the sign up. We got here a little bit early. There's the sign up. That's awesome. Yes. There's the sign. <laughs> he is so incredibly cool. Um, but again, this is, I love this shop. It's a shop house, open air patio restaurant. Um, and it is street food, but he's just elevated it to the next level with that plating, the quality of ingredients, and just the ultimate knowledge and experience about cooking, the different fire, the different uh, heat levels. Wow, okay, I can't wait. I'm gonna quickly start with this dish because it's right in front of me, which is Bamak Tod Piksot, which is uh, squid with a ton of garlic and fresh chilies in it. And he just deep fried this so, it was actually a flash deep fry, so fast. A little bit of flour in here to make it extra crispy. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, awesome, awesome. Awesome, nice to meet you. 
Yeah. Very nice. Do you come here? Do you come here often? Yeah, yeah. To this uh, restaurant? I have been eating here uh, up to 10 years so far. Oh, wow, awesome. I live nearby. Ah, and okay. It's so convenient. For me. Yes. <laughs> and he's so good. And he has great. He has been great in cooking. Yes. And every time when I have been visited by many friends around the world, I will bring them. You'll bring them here? Yeah. Very cool. Very fun. Oh, wow. oh, the pepper, the chilies, the crispy caramelized garlic, the tender squid, it's all there on that plate. Oh, that's extraordinary. It doesn't matter, Did you finish your whole plate of rice already? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, Ying, how's the food? It's very good. <laughs> I've been eating while you start. That tells you how good the food is. Next up, the dish I have to try this is the Gang Bamong, which is this fish curry. And again, unfortunately, he didn't have the crab curry today, but that's okay. This, he said, is incredible. Um, he added coconut milk here, the curry paste, shrimp paste, he a whole steak fillet of the Bamong fish, um, and then kaffir lime leaves break off these steak slices. This has to be on the rice. What a perfect dish to break into the rice with. And just load it up with more of that curry sauce. Drench it. The balance of flavor from slightly sweet to a little bit spicy that's almost like a, a penang curry but southern thai style and then just that fresh fish oh that's incredible oh just simple flavorful citrusy bright and poppy the fish just melts in your mouth okay next up for the tom yum uh which is tom yum tale it's a seafood tom yum he added in fish, he added in shrimp. So many shallots, there's so much lemongrass and galangal in here. It's just loaded. And he added in, uh, we got namkon, which is the the milk broth. So he added in some, some milk in here. It's just a balance of flavor, just like a curry. It's sweet, it's sour, it's slightly spicy, it's so fragrant. You can really taste the lemongrass and that balance of galangal. And in Southern Thailand, often tomatoes are used in, in tom yum to give it kind of a, an umami, a balance, uh, an extra tartness as well. And the galangal, he really sliced it thin so you can actually eat. Well, I love to eat the slices of galangal too. Mm. That's just soothing. It's wonderful. And then next dish we got is gung patsatawa kapi, which is shrimp, but a bunch of minced pork in here. And these are huge stink beans. Look at the size of that. Massive stink beans. Uh, you smell the shrimp paste. He added in onions, and he fried this in literally a cloud of smoke. Look at the size of that stink bean. That stink bean is huge. It takes up the whole spoon. That might be one of the biggest single stink beans I've ever seen. That is so smoky. Like one second longer in that wok and it would have been burnt. He let that just fire roar. He let the smoke build up like a cloud and all of that flavor ended up in that sauce, in the shrimp, in the minced pork, and in those crunchy stink beans. That's not spicy, but it's just so fragrant, incredibly aromatic, and that umami from the shrimp paste. Okay, and then the last dish actually that we got is fried rice. So there's pieces of crab in here, there's egg, and again, he fried it so dry, so smoky. You can actually smell, you can see the smokiness with your eyes. Get a little bit more of that crab. And I gotta immediately add a bit of pic nam chilies and fish sauce to this. A little bit of chili on there. Oh, a squeeze of, you have to hit that with a squeeze of lime as well. It's part of the reason why kapat bu or, or stir fried uh, crab fried rice is so good. The chilies and the lime juice. In addition to the crab, of course. 
Oh, and the nuggets of crab in there. Again, that wok smokiness is what makes it. And the dry, just individual grains of rice. The texture of it, the fish sauce and chilies, and then the nuggets of crab. Really, every dish is superb. Every dish cooked with so much passion, so much love. The squid is absolutely awesome. And the way he scored it, so that the texture has so many different textures. And there is so much garlic in here. That squid is masterful. And there's so much garlic in there that it, the entire dish is actually sticky. It's sticky from garlic. And the pepper, as you keep on chewing, you start your, your tongue actually tingles a little bit from how much pepper's in there. Mm. I love that. <laughs> and again, like, Food is awesome, but when the chef is as cool as him, it takes it to the next level. That passion and love is a huge part of this restaurant. smokiest stink beans I've ever had. And because we fried it on such a high fire, just very lightly cooked, very, almost just wilted, and remain really crisp on the inside. I think this squid is actually one of the best dishes. It's so incredibly addictive. Wow, it's tasty. just wraps up a well-rounded, delicious, friendly, one of the happiest chefs that you will ever meet. Some of caramelized garlic. Yes, <laughs> Chef. So his name is Chef Dang. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mark. Mark. Yes. Thai Dang. name is Dang. Dang, okay. English name, Danny. Danny, okay. <laughs> Chef Danny. Chef Danny, awesome. It was uh, an honor to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Amazing food. Yes. Welcome back here. Laid back. It's fun, delicious food, and just great, fantastic experience. And so that completes lunch at Jat Jan Restaurant by Chef Danny. Highly recommended. He's so cool. He will take care of you. Uh, the only thing I'm disappointed about is that we didn't get to try his crab curry. But that's all right. That means I'll have to come back to try it next time. It's also so cool to see that he's been recognized in the Michelin Guide um, and he's a, a local favorite. And I want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon and that way you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Goodbye from Phuket. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.